Hi everybody, I'm here today to show you how I'm going to prepare my little travel palette um, for watercolors. So I want to make um, a cute little travel palette that will fit right nicely into my pouch. This holds 24 watercolor half pans and um, it comes with the little half pans here, see? And then it has two compartments um, to mix colors. I got this off Amazon quite cheap. So you can find actually a lot of different types. And these are really handy. I love to work directly from tubes, but you know, when you're out, obviously that doesn't really work. So um, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. And you're gonna wanna do this, you know, if you're gonna go on a trip, you're gonna wanna do this a couple weeks before because they need their time to dry. And you, if you don't have a box like this, especially for watercolors. You can just use um, any tin box, you know. Say if your box doesn't have this and you don't have the compartments to put it in. You can use, um, this is a magnet tape, a little, put a little piece of magnet tape on the bottom and that will stick them nicely to your, your tin box and then you don't even have to have this. But this is handy because I can stick a watercolor brush in the middle and yeah, it has, you know, these nice compartments. I'm going to side on the colors I'm going to be using. And I got these colors today from Windsor Newton. A few of them are brand new colors that just came out from Windsor Newton. So there's a new color, Quinacridone Violet is a new one. Transparent Orange is a new color. Aqua green is a new color, and then cobalt deep green is another one. And then these are just other ones I wanted to try out, which is Payne's Gray, Permanent Rose, Opera Rose, and Permanent Carmine. Okay, I, I really want to try out these new colors, so I'm just going to do that quickly. And I have a few strips of really thick watercolor paper here, and I, I think I'm going to use this one as the, the reference for the, the watercolor package, but I'm gonna quickly try these out because I can't wait. You know, when you buy new supplies, you wanna try them out right away, right? <laughs> so I have a few of these little swatches here and I'm gonna put a bit of that. Look at that. And then you can spread it out. That's really gorgeous. is permanent rose. I'm curious about this one too. Whoops. Uh oh. Tons of that came out when I opened the tube. So you have to watch out with that one. The tubes are new. Sometimes they they can't wait to be opened. <laughs> so when you open them it's like woo splurting out. Huge amounts. Wow look this is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I have a lipstick this color. <laughs> I love it. It's like a fuchsia. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And then I have the Payne's Gray, and I love Indigo and Payne's Gray. There's just something yummy about that dark, moody color sometimes. I don't know. It's my moody side coming out there. It's going to be very hard to decide what 24 colors to put in there, gosh. Okay, so what I'm gonna do while I'm deciding here, very deciding point, I'm gonna divide my, my paper here. I don't have a ruler, so I'm just going to I'm gonna use my little dear postcard here. 
And then let me see. I'm gonna have to see how many of these can fit on here so that I know. I'm gonna need space for the writing as well. So let me see, that's three, four, five. I think they just fit 12 on here. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna have to do them about as big as one of these pans, a little bit smaller maybe. Okay, so I left a little bit of space to, draw, to write what I wanna, what colors they are. Now, da 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 dum, the deciding point. I can try a few colors out here if I need to. Okay, now I definitely know I'm gonna have to start with the ones I definitely know I'm gonna use. So, Moon Glow. So I'm gonna try Purple Light Genuine is super gorgeous too. And Shadow Violet, Kyanite Genuine is to die for. Definitely wanna put that in there. Rose of Ultramarine for sure. I use a lot of purples, pinks, and blues and turquoises. So, um, Quinacridone Rose. So I have Cobalt Turquoise which I like a lot. I'm kind of undecided between the teal and teal blue and the cobalt turquoise, so I'll leave that there. Undersea green is beautiful green. And Mayan blue is one of my favorites too. Now, green gold is a definite yes. Bloodstone genuine, yes. I have more Moon Glow here just in case I need it. Piemontite Genuine, I really like too. It's good to have a brown in there sometimes. And then I have a black. Lunar Black is gorgeously granulating. And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna put the colors that I use normally. Quinacridone Gold, definitely yes. And the Opera Pink. Imperial purple is super beautiful too, but I can't put all these purples, so I'm gonna have to decide. That's this one. Indigo, I probably want that. Okay, Potter's pink is a nice pink too, but I don't use it as much. Okay. How are we gonna choose 24? Oh, hello. How's <laughs> that gonna work? Oops, I have, I also have Cascade green, which is a lovely bluish green. Kind of foresty green here. So, um, hmm, that's a nice one too. So I'm gonna put away these ones for now. So see how you, when you're deciding on a palette, you think, what do I use all the time? And go for that. Cause you know, when you're out and about, you'll, you'll wanna grab what you're used to using and what you use all the time. And then you might wanna put in a few surprise colors as well. So, okay, so for as far as yellows and greens go, I don't um, use tons of green, but I do like, this is, okay, Quinn Gold, Quinacridone Gold is my go-to for the yellow. And then I have Piemontite Genuine, which is a beautiful kind of reddish brown color that I need to have if I'm, you know, outdoors and I want a brown. So I need to put that in there. Bloodstone Genuine, which is a purplish brown. And okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that already decides on the ones down here. And then some greens. I, I could use these three Cascade Green, Undersea Green, and Green yep. Gold. And then I want some turquoise green. So aqua green 
and let me try them both and I'll see what I like better. So I think I prefer that one. Mm. I don't know, there's just something about that one that drives me nuts. I love it. So I'm going to put that one. Okay. So I have six here, six here, uh, five here, and I can put one more down here. Hmm. So I can put either, the, maybe the black, put the lunar black down here by the bloodstone genuine. We have our warm tones that go into the greens and then goes into the aqua. And then on the top here, I'm just trying to see how I'm going to place them on here, okay, my palettes. So that's going to be an easy way to, because once they're, uh, to, to go to, because once they're dry in these palettes, um, you won't be able to tell so much what, you know, what's in there. It's going to be kind of difficult. So you want to know more or less that the bottom part are the warmer colors, except maybe the last few, and the top part are all the warm, are all the cool colors. So in the top part we have the blues and the purples and the greys. And in the bottom part we have the reds, the golds, and the greens. Okay. So here how many do I have? I have Payne's Grey and Indigo, which are similar but they are both awesome. So I'm going to have to include those. <laughs> Mayan Blue, Kyanite Genuine. I love Lunar Blue too, but I don't know if it fits, so we'll see. Shadow Violet, that's one, two, three, four, five. Moon Glow, that's six. Yeah, it definitely fits. You can fit more stuff here then. So I have Purple at Genuine and Imperial, Imperial Purple. I want to try those out real quick because they're yummy. Because they look really good. So this is Imperial Purple. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, deep, royal kind of purple. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then the Purple at Genuine is a warmer purple. So that's a really cool royal purple. And then we have, look, that's really pretty also. So this could even go down here with the warm purples and so put this next to the Bloodstone Genuine. So it's very similar. Look look at the Bloodstone Genuine, just a second. And you're probably kind of going nuts with all of my reasoning here, but this is how <laughs> I reason when I'm doing these kind of things, you know? Anyway, I love these really dark colors. Because uh, they granulate so beautifully. Glow. Let's check out this shadow violet. Shadow violet's beautiful too. I think Moon Glow is my all-time favorite ever of Daniel Smith colors. Shadow violet is kind of similar. Look at that. I need to try the difference between the quinacridone rose. And the permanent carmine. Let me try that quickly so I know that I'm not putting, you know, something too similar down there. So I remember it's quite similar. Indigo can go somewhere here between the blues. I need maybe a nice bright blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. That's super gorgeous. I totally forgot about that one. Salo. It's very, it's a little bit different. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. Potter's Pink. Let me try that again. Whoops. It's coming out like crazy. It's a, good, a more earthy color, so I'd have to put it down next to the earthy colors. So let me do that. Next to Purple Light, maybe. I'm really undecided between Payne's Gray, what to put between Payne's Gray Indigo and Solidite Genuine. Those are three kind of dark colors that are all kind of similar, but not really. 
I love these two. Okay, I'm going to leave out the silver light. Even though, as much as I love it, knowing me, I'm going to go for the bluish grays. So, okay. It's good I tried them all out. <coughs> so, decided, decided, decided. Shadow Violet. I'm wondering if indigo, I'm gonna put that over here. Over here. So I'm thinking the grays kind of need to go together. This is also the shadow violet here. So these kind of all need to go together. So um, then comes moon glow. So I have these. And as I do this, I'm going to put them in there. Okay, so when you're doing this, you want to make sure you don't lose track of what you're putting down, you know. So, um, I'm going to have this open, and as I fill up the, the little half pans, I'm going to put it in. And then, I'll write it down here. So, I'm going to have to also watch out that we don't um, mix into the colors. So, what I normally do is do, is skip a box. So... I'll do a box, skip a box, do another box, skip a box, and then go down the line, and go down the line, and then I'll fill in other boxes just so that I don't risk getting them all mixed in. So that's what we can do here. I'm gonna fill in um, the the number, the names with pencil first because the pen might move into the watercolor. So, so let's start with indigo. <coughs> what I'm going to do, take my half pan, and I'm going to zoom up a second, a tiny, tiny Just bit, a tiny, tiny bit. bit. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. You want to scratch in a little bit, and this helps. Or you can even do that with a fork. This helps the watercolor adhere to the plastic. Okay, so I'm going to take my indigo, you don't want to be in a hurry when you're doing stuff like this, it's fun to do, take your time, relax, don't worry about it, okay, now this one came out pretty easy, some of them are a lot harder, and you, you need a kind of uh, something to spread them a bit, tap it around, Quickly take a paintbrush, start with the dark, and then add water. Okay, 